every step we take, you can hear seeds crunching under our feet. It's a beautiful sound if you're a dove hunter. Nate Hudson with the Department of Natural Resources takes us along on a routine inspection of a dove field in Horry County. This is a field that I believe they shot on Monday, so I just wanted to come out and check things out to make sure everything was, uh, was legal. Hudson's checking to make sure the field is baited legally. What we want to do is just make sure that, that uh, we've checked every area of the field and make sure that uh, there's no extra seeds added that weren't planted there. Um, for instance, folks sometimes try to come in and if their sunflowers don't do good, they might go to the store and, and buy sunflowers and put out, and uh, that's illegal. This field is planted with sunflowers, brown top millet, and sorghum. They'll come in and they'll bush hog these standing sunflower seeds, and it'll spread these all over the ground for the doves. And that's legal. And just like we did today, DNR is going to be out all season long checking on dove fields all across the state. And Hudson says this one was prepared legally. It's a long, hot process, but you know, after after we've been out here, we've determined that this this guy, gratefully, is legal. Fines for illegally baiting can start at four hundred and seventy dollars. Hudson says less than one percent of fields DNR inspects are illegally baited. Most of the folks we have here in Horry County are great people, and they strive to keep the law of South Carolina. But if they don't, guys like Hudson will be there. In Horry County, Mark Liverman, WPDE News Channel 15.